Yes, hello and welcome to another episode of Hannibal's Kitchen. Today with a Hannibal original. Oh, wait. Hannibal original. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, that's, that's more Hannibal. So, today we're gonna have Sanguinaccio Dolce. It was a request on YouTube to do this one more time in English. So, today we have a classic recipe from Jenny Spoon's book. It's feeding Hannibal. Um, they are very nice recipes, all from the show. Here's Sanguinaccio Dolce. Let's start with the ingredients. We start by breaking chocolate into pieces. Cut oranges into halves and press out juice or take out the meat for a fruit salad. Most important is don't damage the skin, so we have our bowls for our sanguinaccio. First step is we give the almond milk in a bowl. Add the cream. And finally, the special ingredient of pig or beef blood. Give as much hot water in a pot so you can place your bowl in a water bath. Heat up by light till medium heat, till now the water should just simmer, not cook. Add sugar and stir. When heated up, you can add the chocolate. Stir in chocolate till chocolate is melted in. When chocolate is melted in, we can heat a little bit more so the water gets cooking. Now it takes a little bit of time at the oven. It will take 20 till 30 minutes. I started with 25 minutes. You spend a long time at the oven now. It's uh, just stirring, stirring constantly um, till it got a custard-like consistency. When you got this consistency, take it out of the pot. So I took some cacao powder on a plate, gave the orange zest to the chocolate sauce, added some cinnamon. Cinnamon is optional as the orange zest inside. Uh, the original recipe says just for decoration on top, but I also like the orange taste inside. So now give your chocolate sauce in your orange halves and place it on top of your chocolate powder plate and give some decoration by cinnamon stick, orange cells and have the berries. I like if you have red and black or blue berries. It's uh, very nice to play with colors. Uh, also uh, by adding some fizalis to have some yellow and also have some green from the leaves. If you want to place a closed fizalis, make sure the fruit inside is still good. Fizalis is always a critical fruit. So, and ready is your sanguinaccio dolce. Just add a spoon biscuit and we're ready to serve. As requested, here we have sanguinaccio dolce. This uh, dessert can be eaten cold or warm. Um, I will eat it warm this time. Actually, I ate it more times cold. Um, it's very nice, more nice in the combination of fruits for me than this uh, biscuit. Uh, this biscuit is only good when you eat it warm. When you eat it cold, I would only eat the fruits. You don't taste the blood, it's um, 
it's a very special taste but it's not like you would say it's having a bloody taste but also with biscuit when it's hot it's nice mm. very lovely thanks to the book of Jenny's spoon feeding Hannibal very delicious See you next time here on Hannibal's Kitchen. Please, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe, share my link, leave a comment and see you soon.